Welcome back to Anderton's TV. <laughs> wow. I bet that woke you up, didn't it? Hello. Um, I said that as my alarm clock ring to her tone, yeah. I think now. <laughs> Crikey. Um, wow. Yes, welcome back. Thanks for joining us today. Mm. Uh, this is Anderton's TV. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please yeah. like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Every 10,000 subscribers, we get something away, and a million, we get a clon, real clon away when we hit a million subscribers. And timestamps for these two, yeah, one there, one there, if you want to use them. So go on. So Warm Audio, it's, it's a, warm, a brand it's that our um, studio department have dealt with for a few years, but our guitar team have been dealing with Warm Audio for the last couple of years mm. as they've started to release their sort of clone pedals. So um, the clone, they did a clone, clone, the clone, clone of the clone, 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 clone. Say that quickly. Yeah, they're definitely not afraid to overtly go. Here's our version of X. I know there was a and it looks exactly the same. Aurora with the their clone of the uh, OCD, OCD pedal. OCD? Uh, yeah. Did they call it OCD? Anyway, OCD? a couple of Video. new pedals for today. One is Tone Bender Territory, and the other is uh, Mooga Fuga um, Ring Modulator yeah. uh, Territory. Yeah. With all this stuff. I mean, yeah, impressive, so, isn't it? Okay, Oops. so <laughs> I think we can speak with some experience of tone benders and fuzz pedals in general and we're yeah. going here this we are this is not a pedal that has ever been on my pedal board uh so we're just gonna have some fun yeah, with this yeah, I'm, Wait, I'm, which I one like do you want to start I, with I, I don't know i mean i think we should start with this one go straight <laughs> you want to go in the deep crazy. end here just straight in crazy that's what i do when i go out now I just go straight for crazy well, let me tell you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the... the, the, the um, four o'clock in the morning, straight for crazy. I'll give you the, uh, <laughs> the, the um, headlines here. So, Warm Audio Ringer Bringer accurately recreates the ultimate all-analog ring modulation effect used for creating experimental tones. With LFO, mod, frequency and rate controls, you can generate new sounds and harmonics, explore a wide range of sonic possibilities for the guitar and beyond, and design your own sounds from the ground up. Hello. So it's 100% analog. Uh -huh. uh, it can be true bypass or buffered bypass. It's basically saying you're better off plugging this into to valve amplifiers, but you could use DSP modelers, IR pedals with this product if you That's wanted to. It's going to blow up, man. Probably. Um, you can use it with so analog synths <laughs> and bass gear. Wow. I think we're going mean, to get Jack to, to use it, this on the keyboard. It basically has well. got here, it just says, look, there's no rules. Just Absolutely you not. experiment, it makes crazy noises, yep. you find something you yeah. like. So let's just... It's like your <laughs> Just, there's no rules. <laughs> you just experiment. <laughs> right, crikey, I don't think we can say any of that. Of course we can! There's some stuff here that's reasonably obvious what it's doing. There's a lot of ins and outs here, which again, the terminology on is uh, new to me and I'm not familiar with, but we have got an expression pedal and some of it's yeah. more obvious than others. Um, and you know what I'm... the term carrier is because you've been doing that for, you carry stuff for many times. What, am I the, the hot carrier? I just, you no, carry just you this and... whole <laughs> Oh, I see, I see. Well, that's what you mean. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely <laughs> I'm just a pointless carrier. Um... <laughs> Patient X. <laughs> Absolutely, I could have killed half the world by now had I <laughs> since. <laughs> I noticed when you were fiddling around with this, the drive control seemed to be active regardless yeah, of whether so, the pedal was on or not. So, so could you give us the got, basic? What's the dealio so here? So red is off. Normally, right. that's the other way around, isn't it? Green go. Maybe yeah, green go. Green go. Go go. Yeah. So it's on here, regardless. So I think you have to find your sort of. I think and I, is that I have actual, to check. Is it a drive circuit or is it just level? Well, yeah, it does. It does. Let's have a look. Seems to drive it, but the level seems to be mid uh, here in the middle is is unity. So here we go. The drive knob on the Ringer Bringer fine tunes the input gain, allowing precise adjustment for a variety of instruments. So that's okay. So if you were putting bass or yeah, so, keyboard so or whatever, so you need to you turn it down it. a bit. I think you get a level here. If you, if you see the level yeah. light here, which I completely ignore because I don't care. If so, it's, yeah. it's, it's, so, so drive control is always on yeah. uh, and they the have... LED signal g gives you an indicator as to how much, where you need yeah. to set it. But so, I, I would gosh. absolutely di just discard that. There's no that. rules. Because there There's is no, no rules. rules. Also, I think they should have called, called it the other way around. The bringer ringer. The bringer ringer. So you, you do get it. It's the ringer stinger. <laughs> So there is definitely a drive know, it's in a, there. But it's a nice drive, it's a drive, isn't it? It's a good drive. Yeah. It's not like a, oh dear, if you overload it's not this, like it bad sounds drive. bad. It no, because it's got... I think it's a fat, juicy I, I tell sound. you what, I don't, hopefully you're not hearing this, but, but everything in this room is shaking, room is shaking like What's crazy the... with these bass notes. 
It's not um, that loud. <laughs> What's the deal here, Pete? Are we trying to adjust this so that it just clips as you no, do it, or are you just I, turning I it think, all the way up? And I think just if you it? want, if you want a bit more juice in it, especially when we yeah. when we get this on. All right, the warm bender. Okay, and you so bring a ringer. Your let's turn this on then. Yeah. And so we've got the down. low frequency oscillator over here with yeah. a switch to go between like a square wave or a sine yeah, wave. Soft or uh, sharp. Rate, which is obvious, and we get this mm. LED that gives us an indication as to the speed of, of the yeah. uh, oscillation. Which you can control with the fit. The and then the, the <laughs> modulator has got this low and high frequency thing, yeah. the mix control and the frequency. Do you know what? Yeah. I think it was I would, that I, intro demo kind of showed what it did. Just yeah. give it some. So, yeah, give so it just some. give it some. Because it is, it's ring modulator, it can be a little bit, uh, what is it called? Chaotic, in chaotic random. And, and random. So that's why you find, to find the sweet spot, I think, with the, with the mix knob. I, we heard it, Pete. So I like, and now we, I'm going to set it to the other um, rate, because it's more, it's a more... Uh, it's the other type of sine wave. So it's a bit more like a... You see, it's more like a tremolo kind of effect. Which I really like that because it's slightly random, but it's got sort of a... You know what I mean? It's nice. So let, let me, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to give you, Pete, I'm going to give you the technical heads up as to what those knobs do so that then you can decide how to, to, yeah. So, okay, so mix is easy. Mix is the dry, wet mix. Uh, frequency, yeah. uh, it determines the frequency of the carrier oscillator yeah. affecting the pitch and harmonic content yeah. of the ring yeah. modulated output. Let me As you, know. you turn it up, uh -huh. you'll begin to hear the distance between the harmonic content uh -huh. and the shifted pitch. The lower setting uh -huh. sounds more like a tremolo, higher settings more harmonic dissonance yes. and pitch shifting. Here we go. Mix. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Content yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, here we go. He knew all that. So that's the lower one, right? And then you go up here. There's a point at which it's a bit of both, isn't it? It's like very random. Got <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me and Can I tell you? So He's the my switch, hero, by the way. The switch sets the range of the frequency settings for the carrier oscillator yeah. inside the ringer stinger. Um, and the low, uh, I don't even know what that means, but uh, no, so, anyway. you got, so you get, I can demonstrate now, okay. so you get the... High frequencies. See, here's the low. This pedal is as chaotic as this demo, yeah. actually. So here's the... I love that, man. It just breaks, it just breaks at the end. I love that. Do you want it's... to know what the other controls do? Yes, please. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No. So on the LFO side of things, <laughs> yeah. yes. the amount, amount. Uh, on the ring bringer sets the degree to which the LFA, LFO waveform modulates the frequency of the carrier oscillator. Okay, when turned <laughs> counterclockwise, yeah. what does that mean? That's All the way off. off. Uh, there is no frequency modulation from the Let LFO. Let me demonstrate that. Got it. Okay, and all the way across. Yeah. 
Her er mit 3 sekunders overblik. Det er lidt random, det er sådan et. Det bliver lidt lidt random. Yeah. Tak fordi du kiggede med. Det var lige 3 sekunder, du kan aldrig nogensinde få tilbage. The, uh, Go then on. you have got a sine wave and a square wave yeah. switch. So the sine wave, I think, is the smoother one. The yeah. square wave is the more flattering, let's, trembling let's, one. Let's demonstrate this. Vanilla ice all of a sudden, are you? Yes. <laughs> Some terrible 80s. I don't know, Leonardo DiCaprio. Have you seen him? Have you seen him break that? He's amazing at breakdancing. I've never seen that. You were quite good there as well. Well, yeah. I used to. I used to have the white gloves on and the white hat backwards, and I had a Patrick yellow suit on with the thing and the. <laughs> I can imagine whole that. Lot Did man. you take a little like a cat, like a rubber mat cardboard down box to the out. high street? Oh, a cardboard yeah. box head and a ghetto spinning. blaster. Yeah, yeah, wow. man. Me and the, we were out there doing Did you have head a, spinning. You know, like a, a name, like a. Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to say that. <laughs> what was your name? That was my name, but the other way around. <laughs> Could you put the expression pedal into the yeah. one that controls the frequency? Because that was my favourite kind of sounds as that was going up, and then it was getting really crazy. It's got to be on the floor. Try some more oh, uh, riffy, less dad blues. <laughs> Wow. wow! Okay, well look, Jinx. before we move on to the um, warm bender, uh, there's not much else to tell you about, well, there's probably loads. We'll get, we'll get Jack to do something, I think, Absolutely, with keyboards, because yeah, yeah. that'll be uh, another use yes. for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess the price is surprisingly low, and I guess that's the whole warm audio angle with this. If you want to go buy a used Mooga Fuga version of this, I was checking out eBay and Reva before, and they, there's a wide selection of prices but nothing much less than 400 quid and boxed ones are almost like a thousand pounds so uh, this is the box. this is 229 it's good 229 i like it man i think it's yeah. good i think it's good fun uh, you know it's like a thing you plug in when you're you're writing some music or something you think i need something a bit extra for well, this the, bit the artists that you know if you go no, onto the old sort of moog forums and stuff it, it's uh, it's everything it's i mean john frushanti comes up and you go okay yeah, i'm sure there's bound to be some chili peppers tunes yeah, a bit weird. back in the day but when he had but then you get like uh, Mick on. Thompson comes up and you're sort of sitting there going, is it probably, maybe there is a slip thing going. Oh yeah, well, I thought you meant Billy the other King. He, he yeah, BB King. Yeah, he wasn't on there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I suspect there will be tons <laughs> of experimental guitar players going. Ah, oh, it's amazing. This is there's something like an affordable version of this. But it's just and it's back, a, this so. the low end thing. I think people like that sort of. It's very it's fat. Just, it's Can really we, fat, Interestingly, fat, again, fat, fat, we fat. are. 
we got better results. Uh, we me. got better results running this into a sort of a cleaner, higher headroom amplifier than we did running into the JTM yeah. uh, by Marshall. I mean, just you can do whatever you like. Personal choice, isn't it? But it it seemed it it seemed there's so much bass end on this. It, it suited it wanted, an amplifier yeah, that could more cope with with mm -hmm. that. Anyway, mm -hmm. let's talk about this one. Warm uh, bender. The appropriately named warm bender. Uh, which obviously the tone Warm. bender is probably the yeah. most famous fuzz of all time or one yeah. of the most famous fuzzes of all time. So a lot of the kind of the, the I suppose the mythology around the old tone benders were, were as they changed the transistor that they used um, as the, I guess maybe even per batch that people are always like, oh, which one have you got? Yes. Have you got the yeah, OC76 yeah, yeah. or the OC75 or whatever? Um, anyway, in the, the warm audio one, we've got three selectable circuits here. So let me just quickly find where it says what the three are. We have got in here some NOS germanium transistors. Let me have a look here. So position one says it's a two transistor fuzz with an mm -hmm. NOS OC76 paired with an NOS <laughs> SFT337. Position two is a three transistor fuzz. Oh. Three, NO, three oh. NOS OC75 transistors. <laughs> And then the bonus oh! uh, setting, the silicon setting, crikey O'Reilly, uh, is a three transistor similar to the NOS oh, 75 setting, but replaces tell, tell the, the germanium tell transistors the sack, with modern silicon tell components. Tell me about the sack, please I tell me can't. about the sack. Tell it's... me about the sack on the top here. There's this little oh, switch Oh, I do apologize. Here. I thought you were just more no. sexual <laughs> innuendos. No! Actual sag. Actual okay. sag. The sag, sag switch on the warm bender recreates <laughs> the special and unique sound of the original tone bender style fuzz pedals when the batteries would die or the power was starved. Uh, these tones are ultra touch sensitive, especially when rolling the volume off. The resulting playing experience is similar to tweed mid gain amps at the edge of breakup. Right, Let's do so. this. Right, so we're in the NOS. 76 setting, we got level and attack. Yeah. Let's and do we've this. Got the, and the, the sag, sag is, is down. I don't know if that's all. We or think off. it's off. Okay. It's supposed to replicate going from 9 volt to 6 volts. Yeah. But so it's we're hard able to, to hear. Can, it'll can be you just that. do like a single note thing? Just to see. <laughs> It's on, six isn't it? volts, yeah. right? And I think so. As far as I remember, doing these other uh, Bender pedals uh, on the first on this seventy six NOS seventy six, it needs more attack on it. You remember we had everything on full whack on the original. I think all the original ones yeah, yeah. just had it. It's on a toes with Marmite, and I'm a. Hey, I'm. Behind the camera, and that's playing is so bad, but I don't care. Sue me. Thank <laughs> you. 
unplug this for a second because I'm no, conscious on, of then. the fact that the drive circuit is always engaged on this. So yes, let's but just... that's a good thing. Oh, it's that <laughs> blooming brilliant. But oh. I wonder how many people will be sitting there going, oh, but how much of that is this? But. <laughs> Play some cream, some classic. Uh... Kind of, I mean kind of, I mean, only a, kind of. Yeah, only kind of. In a Gibson kind of way. Let's tune it up and try NOS 75. I think that made a lot of a difference when you unplugged that. I agree, I think it sounds... All that bass end and all that hoofing bass end was coming from that. Whilst we were tuning and maybe you didn't, we've got Oz, Oz on camera today, which is saying actually there's a surprising amount of just fatness coming from the, the, the drive ringer bringer, all that, yeah. even when it's not switched on. Yeah. So interesting, yeah. interesting. So that's that's cool. Okay, let's try the NOS 75 mm. version. I will turn it down now. I will turn it down now. <laughs> The 76 setting, so the previous one, talks about um, <laughs> aggressive fuzz with raw grit and sharp attack. And then it says the 75 setting is a warmer, fuzzier, darker tone, which it definitely is. And, it, and it's interesting because you're right, that sag control was just more went... obvious on the... Um, yeah. let's, just, let's just gun the shit out of this thing, see what happens. <laughs> It's, it's way too, too dark, much. isn't it? Yeah. I wonder if it's better with the telly.
that amp's going to ask for a day off after this, isn't it? <laughs> it's it's like you? literally, it's going to hand its notice in. Um, <laughs> I, I it's agree. It's going to have a mental I mean, I, health I, day. Yeah. I turned the treble up there to see if, and it does obviously bring more treble in, but yeah. I, actually, oh, I, I feel that. the um, NOS 75 is the more you, no, sorry, 76 is the more you. Well, that's the, that's, that's the, my you. personal favourite out of the two. Should my, we try my, the silicon? I, I love one? a silicon. sag we're talking about is sagging so much it's turned the pedal off wow i don't know that That's i've incredible. ever actually played an original tone bender and but i've played the many many here. clones of yeah, yeah, yeah. tone benders and i think if fuzz for you is if it's the chaos and the slight and and the, and the uncertainty yeah the excitement of like yeah, i don't yeah. really know what it's going to do today that draws you towards fuzz pedals yeah I think it's one of the best pedals I've ever heard. Yeah, absolutely. I, agree. I mean, that was just insane. Yeah. Uh, I, I again, got a conclusion it's definitely... to, to women. <laughs> it's completely, it's just. Wow. But that's why we love it, isn't it? I mean, I, honestly, I, it, it's, it, that, is a, <laughs> that is a great pedal. And particularly, I loved the how it paired with the yeah, ring. Yeah. The, the, this pedal just brought the best out of this, didn't yeah. it? It was like. And wow. it's, that's even more chaotic. Exactly. This is about 200 quid. That's great, man. Yeah, I, th I think it is. That's I mean, wonderful. again, uh, uh, look, the comments section will rage on about the sort of the, 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 the uh, righteous morality of warm audio copying lots of old pedals, but hey, you know, does it. Do everybody that. does it, man. So, everybody does it. Everybody copies everybody What's else. What's the difference between a, a clone that, you know, doesn't come in that enclosure and a clone that does? I mean, who knows? It's just. Clone Wars, right? Yeah. So that's it. So thank you very much for tuning in. Links uh, below. Yes, links below. I should have plugged my microphone in for this video, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, free good shipping to be in back. the UK for any of these and hopefully in stock on the day this video goes out. Mm. So yeah, check them out in the links below. See you next time. Thank you, Pete. That was epic. Thank you, Lee. Thank you for having me. <laughs>